what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see Come along with us for the ride as we visit another small Texas town. This time we are going to Palacios, Texas and visiting the Serendipity Bay RV Resort. Let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get into on this trip. Hey everybody, welcome back to another RV review by the Wondering Wilbillies. Hope that you're doing well. We chose an RV park called Serendipity Bay and it is on the coast. It's about three hours from our home northeast of Houston and a couple of, I'd say a couple of hours away from Corpus. So we met a nice couple that's right across from us that happens to live in our hometown which is kind of wild we've only been here a few hours we just kind of set up and drove around but most of the town was without power when we were driving around because they just had a big storm last night i don't guess all the power's been restored we will bring you a full park tour tomorrow what is it you want you want your daddy to dump your toy box over there don't you Get in there. Get what you want out of there. Is this your sloth blanket? No, now she wants up here with Mama. Come here. about this town of Palacios, I think that's how you say it, is the whole town closes down on Sunday. Uh, I get it that the bad weather was unforeseen on Friday night and then we rolled in on Saturday and power was out everywhere so everything was closed on Saturday and then everything is closed on Sunday as well. So just make sure that you pack yourself enough food and don't anticipate going out unless you're willing to drive. We're enjoying our time here. The Wi-Fi signal is kind of touch and go as well. Again, I don't know if that has something to do with the storm, if they've got some towers down or whatever. And I know before anybody hates on us, like, why are you going camping if you're all you care about is your your cell phone coverage. You know, it just gives us something to do in the evening or when it's too hot in the day and we want to go inside and chill and watch a little TV. It's been kind of touch and go, so. What do you think, Hazel? Hazel What's your opinion? <laughs> yeah. she, she likes watching the birds. She's made a couple of friends. She made friends with the little pit bull. I say little, okay, a really big pit bull. And then right across the way, there's another little chihuahua. She's got a couple of buddies. We're about to go to a place called The Point that Google says is open, but Google's not always right. So uh, we'll go see if they're open today. It's just this Vietnamese restaurant inside of a convenience store. Anthony Bourdain has been there, raves about it. The Day Tripper. Oh, the Day Tripper's been there. He's a local guy here in Texas. So we're about to go get some pho, or I think as it's pronounced, pho. That just sounds weird saying that. We've been saying pho all this time. Slight change of plans, Point is under new ownership where they do not have the Vietnamese food anymore. It's now more of a comfort food slash Mexican food vibe. They've got kind of street tacos 
and I went more with the comfort food. I got chicken fried steak fingers, but no gravy. Corey's going back to get the gravy. Luckily, it's just a few steps over there. Olivia, what did you get? I got hush puppies. It said on the menu it only came with three, and I got a lot, so whatever. They're really spicy. I don't know why. Vietnamese iced coffee, and I've had it before at other places, and it's good. Um, but like this straight up tastes like gasoline, so mixing <laughs> this with like these spicy uh, hush puppies, I'm just, I'm a wreck right now. Poor Olivia, she's over here eating her spicy tater tots and her spicy Vietnamese coffee, and she really wants to wash it down with something non-spicy, so she took a sip of what she thought was Corey's Sprite. <laughs> and it's a spiced cranberry. So she's suffering right now. My eyes are watering. Please say he's got some gravy in his hands. I don't see it. Let's zoom in. See if he's carrying. He's carrying something. Hazel, go get your daddy. Okay. Here, and she's off. Don't drop my gravy. Or Hazel. <laughs> They're closing in on us. Well, who caught it? Oh he caught it? I don't know. How's your chicharron taco? Mm -hmm. Not bad. All right, better, but it's still pretty good. I'm in an Alfred Hitchcock movie right now. <laughs> <laughs> these birds love Olivia. <laughs> Hazel, what do you think of all these birds? You're gonna get mauled. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they do catch it in the air. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. <laughs> I asked one of the locals why none of these homes are on stilts because they are so close to the beach. And we were told that there is a, not a sandbar, what do you call it? It's called a barrier peninsula. A there. barrier peninsula out there. So the water is only really about four feet deep all the way to that peninsula. And it acts as a wall and prevents, you know, water storm from surge. flooding. Yeah, like storm surges. So I thought that was just kind of a fun fact. I'm used to Galveston where all the homes are built up high. This town is so charming. I love this little Southern Pacific railroad car here. It reminds me of this Airbnb that Corey and I stayed in, in Bandera, I believe. Came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> so this entire town closes down on Sunday. It really reminded me of that Garth Brooks song, Nobody Gets Off in This Town. It's so cute, but we had to come up with our own things to do. But it is such a quaint, pretty little place that I'd love to come back and visit when they are actually open. Serendipity Bay RV Resort. And I am going to do sort of a walking tour. You come through here. That little blue house is the office where you go check in. Honestly, I'm not sure what's that way. Maybe some full-time RVers, but we haven't been that way yet. So you got the office. Behind these trash dumpsters appears to be some kind of a shipyard. Kind of cool. There are a lot of shrimp boats over there. And I like how they name all these streets. Right here, we're on wheels and kills. Don't make fun the way I say wheels, everybody does. That's a pretty big one. So there is check-in. Over here, I don't know, I wanna say these look like maybe rentals, if you don't have an RV and you just wanna try it out before you buy one. I guess you can come here and rent one, like an Airbnb situation. Over in the distance is a bathhouse that 
green building out there. I guess these are all RV slots too on the marina. I know that that orange building there is a clubhouse. They have some nice little workout equipment in here. They have a very nice spacious laundry room in here. I'm not sure what this is. It might be a clubhouse. It might be, I don't know what this is. Yeah, we've got some puzzles and some games over here. You've got a sink, a stove, microwave, and a refrigerator. Yeah, I guess if you were going to have a, a little gathering, you can meet in here. But there's an ironing table and some random clothes. Maybe these are things that people didn't claim when... They checked out. Maybe these are things that were left in the laundry room. I'm really not sure. This pool is so nice. They have a hot tub over there. They've got little seating area where you can have your drinks and still be in the pool. And they have this nice little shaded gazebo area. I stuck my head in, head in yesterday. I think it's just a clubhouse. This was locked, but it had pool tables and a big kitchen in it. There is the marina. And then you can also rent cabins. If you see those what look like little tiny homes, those two little brown cabins. So if you don't have an RV, you can still get the experience of staying out here. And one thing I will say about this is there's no shade. But if you come during the right time of year, there's always a gentle breeze going on, so it feels pretty good. Okay, we've got a knocked over basketball net. We've got some shuffleboard action. Little playground for the little kiddos back there. This kind of reminds me of being at a drive-in movie theater. All those little hookups over there just kind of remind me of those speakers. <laughs> I know that's kind of random. You can see our Springdale. We're at the very, very end. We're turning onto Trout Road onto our street. Kind of close together. If you're used to state parks, this might be a little snug for you. But the payout is you get that view. Hazy! We are pretty fortunate to be on a corner lot and nobody's staying next to us here. We're in site number 69 and the dock is closed right now. I don't know if it went underwater during the storm. Let's see. And there is a nice little dock down there. Let's go check it out. We met some people that were hunting crabs yesterday. If you have any kind of mobility issues, or bad knee knees like I do. That's kind of a steep little slope. Oh, it looks like the water's receded a bit. That's surprising with as hard as it rained on Friday. Let's see if we can see any crabs. Oh, Hazel, are you coming? Hazy nut. Come here, baby. Is that hot on your little feet? Got some little steps there since it's kind of shallow if you want to just walk down into the water. I see a crab. There's a shadow. It's right underneath me. Oh, dang it. He went under, under the stalk. So where's your daddy? Where's daddy? Where's he at?
Okay, so from this fishing pier in that little fenced area is the little dog run. Okay. Hey, Nina! Hey, so here is the little dog run area. Hazy. It's a neat little area. Let's see if Hazel knows her way home. This is, these are some pull through sites. I think, does the host stay there in the Montana? with Buddy. I don't know. So this RV park, I would say it's kind of U-shaped. So you can see across the bay there are RVs over there. And then there is that parking lot that I said was like a drive-in movie theater over there. And then you got this side. I think I will make sure to include a map of the layout of this place. So it's $60 a night. I guess you'll have to use your judgment on if that's worth it to you. We've got a state park pass, so obvious, obviously it's a lot cheaper to do state parks, Army Corps of Engineer places. But, you know, if you got a, got kiddos and you want to go take advantage of the pool and the shuffleboard and all that, I don't know if they have organized activities during the summer, but... I guess that's something you might want to check into if you're interested in coming to this place. We could literally see fish jumping out of the water from our campsite. Well, did you like the sunset? Did you enjoy it? <laughs>